now let us review our God's Love in the Bible Sermonette Series. Let's start with Genesis, the creative love, Exodus, the rescuing love, Leviticus, the holy love, Numbers, the rewarding love, Deuteronomy, the greatest love, Joshua, the promising love. Judges, the love that never runs out, Ruth, the redeeming love, 1 Samuel, the providing love. 2 Samuel, the gracious love, 1 Kings, the faithful love, 2 Kings, the inclusive love. 1 Chronicles, the conquering love, 2 Chronicles, the discerning love, Ezra, God's love is home. Nehemiah, the persevering love, Esther, love knows no fear, Job, the enduring love. Psalm, the love expressed, Proverbs, the love that instructs, Ecclesiastes, the meaningful love, Song of Songs, the assuring love, Isaiah, the preserving love, Jeremiah, love is kind. Lamentations, the hope-filled love, Ezekiel, love is willing to start over, Daniel, the supreme love. Hosea, the undying love. Joel, the purifying love. Now let us rise for our call to worship. Psalm 27 verses 13 and 14. I truly believe I will live to see the Lord's goodness. Joel chapter 2 verse 10. To 13, 18 to 19. Before them, earth and sky shake, the sun and the moon become dark, and the star stop shining. The Lord calls out orders loudly, as he leads his army, that army obeys his commands. It is very large and powerful. The Lord days of judging is an over and terrible day. No one can stand up against it. The Lord says, Now, come back to me with all your heart. Go without food and cry and be sad. Tearing your clothes is not enough to show you're not, you are sad. Let your heart be broken. Come back to the Lord your God. He is kind and shows mercy. He doesn't become angry quickly. He has great love. He would rather pa forgive than punish. Then, Lord become concerned about his land. He felt sorry for his people. The Lord said, I will send you grain, wine, and olive oil. No more. You will have plenty. No more will I shame you amongst the nations. Good morning, kids. At good morning, Itaki. Salamat sa pagkakabasa mo ng text natin ngayon. At tama ang text ng natin ay magmula sa Joel. Dahil ang pag-uusapan natin based sa ating God's Love in the Bible Sermon at Series ay The Purifying Love. So, para ko pag-usapan niya natin ang focus sa Purifying Love, Kailangan natin tingnan ang mga sumusunod na photos dahil ang mga to ay hindi pure. So, this is how the clean water looks like. Nakikita nyo, merong mga dark particles and yet iniinom ng tao. So, definitely unhealthy yan. Hindi pure yung water niyan. Next, this is how the unhealthy heart looks like. Yes, that's the real heart. Okay, at Mukhang unhealthy na talaga siya. Siguro may mga kolesterol na nakabalit sa kanya. Siguro uh, meron na nararamdaman na paninikip ang mayaari ng heart na yan. So, that's how it looks like. Medyo dark na siya, no? Next, this is how the unclean heart looks like. So, merong bandage, merong part na broken. Kawawa naman ang mayaari ng heart na yan. So, sa lahat ng yun, ang water, napipurify siya sa pumagitan ng machine. Kaya nga, nakakabili tayo ng purified water. Nakakabili tayo ng mineral water. Ng distilled water. Kasi, ang lahat ng mga tubig na iniinom natin, nagagawang malitiksan niya sa pumagitan ng machines or ng iba't ibang mga chemicals. 
Yung unhealthy heart naman, medyo matasos lang, pero nagkakawan din ng paraan. Kapag ka nagkaroon ng surgery, ng, ng heart transplant, yung pinapalitan yung heart, pag talagang defected na yung heart, so yun, napapalitan. So, nagkakawan pa rin ng paraan. But what can we do with the unclean heart? Yes, we need to purify it. Well, unfortunately, we cannot do it on our own. Yung unclean heart natin, hindi natin siya kaya nilinisin na tayo lamang. We need God to help us to clean our hearts. Kasi kapag ka tayo lang yung nag-i-effort na linisin yung heart natin, may at maya, nadudumihan pa din siya. For us to be able to have a pure and new heart, we need God to give that specific kind of heart to us. So, paano ito? So, the book of Joel is about the Israelites during the time that they were disobeying the Lord. Diba? Sa so, maraming books na pinag-usapan natin, talagang ganun yung ginagawa ng mga Israelites. Susunod sila, tapos mag-cry sila for mercy kay God, tapos patatawarin sila ni Lord. Pero paulit-ulit na ganun. So, Joel is one of those books na ganun. Yung heart nila ngayon, napaka-unclean na. But this time, God wants their hearts to be pure. At na-realize nila yon. Dumating sa kanilang realization na kailangan na nilang lumapit sa Panginoon para gawing pure ang kanilang heart ne. So there are two suggestions that Prophet Joel was teaching the Israelites. Number one is, let your heart be broken. Sabi dun sa text natin, hayaan daw na yung puso ay masira or mawasa or mabasag. Kasi, sabi nila ni God, hindi na sapat yung umiiyak lang kayo, hindi na sapat yung humihingi kayo ng tawad lamang. Kailangan ma-break na yung heart nyo. Does this mean that God wants us to cry all the time? Does, does this mean that God wants us to be hurt? Kasi di ba ganun yung pakiramdam ng mga broken hearted? Inasasaktan sila, umiiyak sila, nalulungkot sila, nagsasamapili sila. They feel alone. Can it bang gusto ng Lord? No. Because being broken also means when you allow God to break the bad habits in you. Alam mo yung mga kaugalian na nasanayan mo nang gawin pero hindi pala tama? Mga ugali na akala mo okay lang kasi napabayaan kang gawin ang mga to wala nang kukorek sa'yo pero mali pa na. For example, yung habitual na pagsinungan eh. Siguro walang nakaka-discover sa atin o hindi napapansin ng mga magulang natin na naglalahi tayo. Pero bad habit yun. Nakasanay na natin hanggang sa pagtanda. Nagiging sinumali. Meron din naman yung pagiging disrespectful. Habang lumalaki ka, nagsasalita ka na na rin ng mga sasakit sa mga matatanda sa'yo. Or nagsasalita ka na ng palagbag. Nagsasalita ka na na hindi sa maayos ng pamamaraan. So, naging disrespectful ka. Marami pang iba't ibang habits. Ano? Na hindi naman siya talaga maganda para sa'yo. So, being broken is also when you allow God to break those bad habits in you. Kasi, kapag ka yung bawat mali na ginagawa mo, misbehaviors mo, ay hindi na correct para siya mga matitigas na, na stone na pinapatigas niya yung heart mo, kumakapit sa heart mo, tapos hanggang sa hindi mo alam na puno-puno na pala ng stone yung heart mo, parang ang tigas-tigas na niya. So that's how it is to be broken. So we come to God and we let Him to break us. Number two, come to God with all your heart. Gusto kong tandaan yung word na all. That means that we accept God as our Lord, we accept God as our God 100%. Okay? When we accept Him as our God 100%, ibig sabihin, buong-buo yung heart natin ay nagtitiwala na sa Kanya. And when we make Him our God 100%, hindi na tayo susuway pa o wala na tayong gagawin pa na alam natin na hindi niya gusto. So, when He is our God 100%, we start our day seeking for His guidance. We start, we start our day asking for His guidance and help. And 
And as we continue on with our day, pag meron tayong naranasan, maghirap ba yan? We ask the Lord. Madali ba yan? We praise the Lord. Pagkatapos natin yan, we thank the Lord. At ganun din, pagdating natin sa bahay, patutulog na tayo when we rest. After our school time, our after our play time, or everything that we did within the day, we also thank God for everything that happened. And we also recall if there's anything na nagkamali tayo o nasaktan natin si God na hindi natin sinasadya o aware tayo na nagkasana tayo, we seek for forgiveness. That's how we make God 100% as our Lord. That's how it is when Joel said, Come to God with all your heart. So children, always remember that only God can make our hearts pure again. We can try, but it's too difficult. And we can never make it pure. Because only God has the pure heart. And He is the one who is able to make our hearts pure again. We need Him to help us. We need Him to make us pure would you like to say a prayer about that? Yes? Okay, so let me lead you in a prayer. Repeat after me. Jesus, I know that I have sinned against you. I have committed things against your will. I know that I have misbehaved in my house, against my parents, in the school, against my teachers and classmates, in our neighborhood, against my playmates. But right now, please help me to have a pure heart. Please help me to make you my God all of my heart. Please help me to always do what you want me to do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Yes, it is.